things together and apart and solve cases. Uh, and usually uh, what we try to do is start with some problem, like last one had to do with deaths in um, upstate New York uh, psychiatric hospital, which was a real problem uh, and it really happened. This one has a um, nexus with uh, the uh, disaparecidos, the dirty war in, uh, in uh, Argentina in the 70s and the, going to the 80s. Uh, where lots of uh, able-bodied men in the 20s, mostly, were killed. And their children, or the babies from the pregnant women, were then given to uh, various politicians and generals and the, the heads of the junta. And uh, the, uh, their parents were dead, but the grandmothers were. The grandmothers made a big protest and were very influential in uh, bringing down the Peron government eventually and trying to find some of their grandchildren. That was before DNA. Uh, DNA doesn't come into the picture till 1988, 1989. And um, uh, this book goes through many of the problems associated with uh, what happened in, uh, in Argentina. It goes through Forensic evidence goes through legal problems, the courtrooms, the press, while well, the press runs away. Uh, Jose Baez uh, is here from uh, uh, Tampa, Tampa? Orlando. Orlando. Sorry, <laughs> Disney World. Uh, <laughs> working with uh, Kaylee, Anthony, Kaylee Anthony. And um, there's a good example of how the press goes off on its own uh, tangents and uh, pollutes the jury pool, but that's another issue for, uh, for it. And also with public relations, even President Nixon gets involved in it. Ex-president. Uh, so, uh, so it, it tries to, most people, mo most people, for example, um, <laughs> He did it? <laughs> most, uh, most, most, most people, uh, who watch CSI and other things uh, realize the, that uh, in, on television they can take certain liberties. That one person can uh, go to the crime scene, do autopsies, interrogate the the bad guys, uh, uh, find all the clues, arrest people, and then uh, testify in court about uh, getting the bad guy. In real life, it doesn't happen like that. Uh, we have a bunch of lawyers down here who. Uh, they, they stick to their own trade. They stick to their own trade, lawyers, no, normally being lawyers. Uh, they don't do the other good parts. But, uh, but people realize that uh, in order to have 50, uh, no, in order to get 50 minutes of a uh, case, you have to, to uh, uh, fudge a little bit. What they don't realize is that most uh, cases don't get solved. Every case on, uh, on uh, television get solved on CSI. Presently now, when I started out in the New York City Medical Examiner's <coughs> Office in the 1960s, 85 percent of murders got solved. Now with all the new technologies, DNA and all that stuff, it's less than 50 percent. So anyhow, in this book, <laughs> <laughs> this book, Skeleton Justice, this murder, or murders, or series of murders, does get solved. You're doing the plot away. <laughs>